good look at this shot. Yeah. Okay, here we go. One week and counting until Halloween, and we're ready to get a little creepy up on her. Uh, paranormal investigator Dave Schrader has investigated strange happenings all over the country while visiting some of the creepiest spots around. Welcome back to the show, our good friend Dave Schrader, everybody. You know, I, I don't know how to respond because I'm still kind of licking my wound. When you showed the wax figure of The Rock and then talked about how pale white he is and misshapen <laughs> head, I, I kind of feel like I'm a, been attacked. I, you're very pretty. You're very pretty. Um, Dave. Um, yes. I don't know if I'm real comfortable right now. Um, I, one, of these, one of these touched me. Oh, my God. Can you explain? Now, we're taking a shot of all of them. What do we have here, Dave? What do well, we have? you know, doing what I do in hosting paranormal radio shows for 18 years, people gift me things that they no longer want in their lives. And uh, haunted dolls. Haunted dolls are the number one thing that are brought to me. So I've, I've put together my little collection. I've got many more. Dave, at home. you can't say please, no, and thank you. I mean, you no. can just, you can turn them away. I mean, Jason, when people come to me for help and they okay. say, Dave, this doll's haunted, and I'm afraid to have it around my family, I say thank you. Let me bring it around my family. <laughs> yeah. I figure it's that's the best. So are all of these things? Um, these are all gifts, right? right? All of them? Yes. Okay. Um, where do you want to start in this collection of fright? Yeah. Well, Stop the, clapping, Aaron. You're only going to encourage this. In the, yeah. in the immortal words of Julie Andrews, let's start at the very beginning. Perfect. We've got a nice little strange Carmen Miranda style doll that uh, a family actually found in their attic. They were hearing what they thought was raccoons or creatures, maybe a possum that had got in, and they were hearing skittering around up in the attic. They went up. This is a relatively newer old house they had purchased, and up in the attic, all they found was a cardboard box with this doll in it. So they brought the doll down and thought, well, there's nothing up there, but maybe our daughter would like to play with the doll. The daughter put the doll in her room, and they woke up the next day to find the, daughter out, or find the doll out in the hall. They put the doll back in thinking maybe the daughter was playing with it, left it out there. They put the doll back in her room while she was at school. They came back at the end of the day and she was out in the living room by herself. <laughs> so suddenly the skittering around in the attic had stopped and uh, Carmen Miranda here kept making her way around the house. So although she never like showed up with a knife all Chucky style, they just were not comfortable <laughs> with what she was and that she was moving on her own. So they asked me if I would take control of her. Now, with that said, burn the, it. These are all, these are all kept wrapped in holy bubble wrap in my garage, as far away from the family. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now, when you say, Dave, when you say holy bubble wrap, um, right. is it really? Uh, yes, I. The asked, power of Christ I, compels I you. I have holy yeah. water, and I bless the bubble wrap and wrap them each up and stick them in my closet or out in the garage. So, yeah, so the, it only touched Jason for a second. So the <laughs> least it's going to do is only partially possess Have fun it. tonight, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, I, I love the fact that when I laid them out, because there's some strange-looking dolls here, the one that you were drawn to is, is Winky, right? Uh, <laughs> she, yeah, Winky has an eye problem. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. She uh, actually is a really kind of, she's the creepiest of the batch. Um, family had gone and they were out doing one of those yard sale deals, big township yard sales. And their little daughter felt so drawn to this doll that they brought it home and she would play with it constantly. And there were times that they thought, oh, it's cute. And they'd watch on the little baby monitor in the room. And this little girl would have conversations and from time to time they would hear another voice in the room. And then one day they heard the daughter yelling at the top of her lungs really angrily and they turned on the baby monitor to see what was going on and she's yelling at the doll, no, no, I'm not gonna push mommy. And that was the end of the doll's time in the home. So. <clears throat> okay. yeah. yeah. Is there a minister in the audience? <laughs> That's why I'm wearing my holy bolo tie today too. Yeah. Leo, take five. <laughs> Uncanny. Oh, I should. Yeah. yeah. I don't. What? I know. It's too, look at her. She loves you. Yeah. Oh, God. You take her home. If I die in the overnight, it's your response. Yeah. Okay. Tune in tomorrow for the Dave show. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Let's set her. 
Okay. okay, why don't we set her right there? Uh, should we do one more here? Okay, one more, Dave, and we'll do the rest on the other side. All right, uh, in the middle here we've got, and I think she's a beautiful old doll. She's one of the old hinged dolls. She's clothed with, with the old hinges in the parts. And I thought it was a really interesting doll when the person first brought it to me, and they didn't even want to tell me the story. And they said, I don't, I don't want to influence you. We just We think it's a haunted doll. We don't want it here. We don't want it in the house. And on the first night I had it in the house, my dog went bonkers. We put her out in the garage. About two or three in the morning, we heard what sounded like a blood curdling scream come from the garage. So she stays in the garage all the time now. Yeah. She's so pretty though, isn't she? She's, she's gorgeous, Dave. She's gorgeous. She's like the Swiss Miss character awry. Yeah, what um, horribly awry. What era? How old do you think she is? Do you know? Not that you're. Th not I that never this is ladies. antiques roadshow, yeah, but I, yeah. I never ask ladies okay. their age. Uh, but she being hinged and everything, I'm gonna guess she's very early 1900s, if not late. 1800s. What do you mean hinged? Oh yeah, there's on her hippie. Yeah, her little hip got, there. She's yeah. got like metal pin hinges with leather. It's crazy. A beautiful doll. Very weird strange scream. I brought all of the dolls into the house last night so I would have them fresh, ready to go today. I was woken up twice by my wife telling, go take the bag out into the hall. Something keeps moving around in the room. Yeah, so. your wife is smart. I mean, did you hear it? Don't miss what Dave just said. The bag was moving around. I'm just saying that. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm continuing to hold Swiss Miss here. But anyway, Dave is sticking around. More dolls when we return. Back in a moment, everybody. Okay. Oh. Welcome back. Now we have two more dolls to get to, but uh, paranormal investigator, our buddy Dave Schrader, also brought another gift. Uh, now I have not seen this yet. He gave this to executive producer Jeff. What are we getting ready to see? Oh, well, just some dolls you look at and you think, who? Who thought that was something we need at home? And, and this is probably one of my favorite commercials ever for a doll that nobody ever needed. Take a look. Can you keep a secret? Then listen to Mattel's new baby secret. Get anyone else awake. She whispers just to you, and her lips really move when she talks. It's almost unbelievable. I want to tell you something. Baby Secret tells lots of secrets, so you never know what she'll say next. Holy close and whisper. And she looks so real, the way her lips move like yours. I like to whisper in the dark. <laughs> Look at the, the goosebumps and hair are standing straight up, man. I'm gonna wait till daddy's asleep and kill him. All right. <laughs> And that was Jan Brady in the commercial. That was Jan? That was yeah. Eve Plum? Yeah, that's 1965 or 63, I think. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So well, there's was, that. Yeah. That was a probably a short-lived doll. Well, uh, no, I think it was very popular for quite a while. And I, I aired that on my podcast and have family members from around the world that have told me, I've got one of those still in the attic. Would you oh. like it? Yeah. No, no. Well, OK, we have two more. Right. We've got, now, I want to get to the bully. Um, this is called the Little Miss No Name. And it was a very popular doll, came out in the 60s. It, and it's legitimately, it was supposed to be the complete opposite of a Barbie doll. Not glamorous. Yep, a not mission beautiful, accomplished. Cl clothes in a removable teardrop in case she does prison time and wants to show that she's, she's a badass. But she's, uh, so I got her. I was given her because she has problems with other dolls. She does not play well and they will leave her on shelves with dolls and come back and dolls will be on the floor and she'll be left on the shelf. So there have been broken dolls, banged up dolls, and she just seems to be the center of attention. She's always the one that doesn't seem to move. So nobody's ever physically seen her chucking dolls off the shelf. So it's either she's doing it or the other dolls are like, oh, hell no, and they're jumping on their own. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. um, I just can't get over her little scarecrow outfit. Right. I mean, I... And she's got the handout for a handout. She, it's, yeah. You know what it is? It's like she's little Oliver from, right. like, can I have some more porridge? You know what I mean? 
And the removable tier just kills me. Right. Okay. I, I love that. But I'll tell you, what, this one. This yeah, is let's just get a, to the Gilded Age. Christine Baranski <laughs> in the Gilded Age yes. over here. Yeah. She's, she's just known as a walker. She's another one of those that has moved from room to room. Uh, and I wanted to just kind of round out the, even the elegant ones, the ones that look and should be less creepy, seem to have a way of moving around. They think that it was the grandmother that sticks with this doll because she loved this doll all the time. She had it with her in her room and when she passed away, the family took it, but the doll kept moving around throughout the house. Now, I had one doll, I'll tell a real quick story on, I had a doll that was given to me from the people at Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. I filmed a, a mini series called Paranormal Challenge there. And they said, we know you like dolls, and this one we featured in the episode. I said, yeah, and they said, we would like you to have her. I'm like, great. So I brought her home and I put her in my closet, and she was on a shelf all by herself. Never had any issues. And then one day I bought this really, really beautiful old antique washboard, and it was really heavy, big old wooden one, and I put it up there, and it was leaned up against the wall. And one night I hear this BAM, and I go in the closet, the washboard from the wall has leapt across the room and is splintered on the floor. I clean it up. A couple days later, my cat Mittens walks in the room and he's sitting there looking inside the closet. I'm watching TV. It's about 1030 at night. Mittens goes into the closet and then comes back out of the closet backwards as though somebody had lifted him up underneath his front paws and launched him out of the room. He hit the ground, looked at the... She just fell! Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't even like that story. No. That's how creepy it is. So, so, so I then wrapped her up, and she went to the garage from that point forward. Okay, yeah. we got to go, but I don't mean to put you on the spot, but in the commercial break, mm -hmm. Dave was nice enough to say that he would allow photographer Eric, this is no joke, to take one of these dolls home in the overnight or two. Whoa! Did you just see that? What happened? Little Miss No Name just turned to you as you said that. Oh my God. It did. Did you watch it on film? Yeah. Well, that's the one going home with Eric. So Eric, Eric is gonna take, Eric is gonna take Damien here in his house. We're gonna put a camera on it all night, and you will see the results on our on our Halloween show on Friday from Serums. You okay with this? Yeah, I don't he want won't. her in my house. <laughs> <laughs> she just turned to you, Jason. I, well, well, I anyway. Dave Schrader, everybody. <laughs> check out check out the podcast, The Paranormal 60. You can follow Dave on Instagram at official Dave Schrader. And again, see if Eric survives Friday here on the Jason <laughs> show. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. <laughs> Which one looked at me? They had that wide shot. Turned toward me when you said it. I don't know.